Moss too. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Athena. This is my channel, Stitching Goddess Designs. And welcome back. Welcome if you're new. This is a channel about cross stitch and Harry Potter. I got, <laughs> I got called out for saying a little bit of Harry Potter when really it's like a lot. So today is pajama day at work. So you guys get me in my pajamas. Um, yesterday was hat day. I got to wear my super cool Slytherin hat. Um, I didn't bring it. I should have brought it so I could show you guys. Tomorrow is dress like your favorite character day. And of course, I have a robe now. So this is going to be my first time getting to actually wear it for a purpose. Um, I've worn it for like a few photo things, but... I'm excited to wear it tomorrow to school. I'm gonna be all slithering out. So it's gonna be super fun. Um, let's see, what else has happened this week? Um, oh, I should tell you that today is Tuesday, um, March 9th. I think I'm just gonna be filming on Tuesdays from now on. I, we, I used to film on uh, Mondays to give myself enough time to give me like all day Tuesday to edit and upload and everything else. But I think I've got it down now. So I don't think I need to actually have that whole 24 hours. Um, I'm filming as soon as I get off of work. And then um, once I'm back home in the afternoon um, from errands or whatever I'm doing, I just start uploading, editing, uploading right away. So it works so it's you'll be seeing this tomorrow morning anyways rambles um what else has happened this week the spirit week at school so all the fun stuff and last week i think since i've yeah it was after i talked to you guys i was scouring the interwebs <laughs> looking for an appointment for my husband to get a flu vac or not a flu a COVID vaccine and I couldn't find one couldn't find one couldn't find one I got mine um you know not last week but the week before and so I got my I have my follow-up next weekend my second dose and I told him I said if I can't find you an appointment maybe you're just gonna have to wait and maybe you can get a Johnson & Johnson one and you only need one shot and blah 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 so then later on, he was coming home on Friday. He was, he's a service technician, so he travels for his jobs. He travels everywhere. So he went on site on Friday. It was his last day there. And he walked in and they're like, are you with weather, with the company? And he's like, yeah. And he goes, well, um, we've got COVID vaccines on site today if you guys want to go over there and get one. And he was like, oh, okay. He's like, well, like, do I have to come back for another one? Or, And he was like, nope, it's the Johnson & Johnson one, so you can just go ahead and get it right now today. And I was like, yes! So my husband is fully vaccinated. I am still waiting for my second dose, but I'm like, how exciting is that? Where vaccines are coming. It's, it's, people are getting vaccinated, and it's amazing. So he works in food service, so... It's great that he's getting vaccinated and with all the traveling that he does, that he is vaccinated with all the traveling that he does and everything. So I just need to get my kids vaccinated. Um, they're not kids. They are, um, my boys are 13, 16, and 18. And my 18 year old is in food service as well. So if he could get vaccinated, that would be awesome. Um, and I'm not sure what the recommendations are for younger people getting the vaccine yet, but I'm sure we'll hear more on that as they start rolling out more of them. Um, but that was my super exciting news for last week. We've had great, great weather here. It's been awesome since, um, you know, that cold front that tried to kill us all. But since then we've had awesome weather and it's super sunny and nice and warm today. It was windy, like super windy, but I got amazing hairspray. So no worries for me. <laughs> That's how you always know when your hairspray is on point. When you walk outside and you're like, my hair is not moving an inch. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I had a quiet weekend. I just sat and I stitched. And oh boy, did I stitch. Because <laughs> March Madness, you guys. I knew planning my brackets that I was signing up for a lot. But now that I'm a week into it, whoa. Whoa. It's a lot. But that's okay. We're hanging in there. We're, I'm still doing it. Um, I'm still going strong. I'm still posting um, the polls every day. And thank you guys so much. The overwhelming amount of people voting on my <laughs> daily um, polls is just awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for following me and doing that on my Instagram page. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm Athena X Stitches on Instagram. And um, yeah, I've been posting daily um, polls for the East bracket and the West bracket. And then whoever wins, I stitch on it the next day. So like today I posted game 10 East bracket and game 10 West bracket. And then tomorrow, when I wake up, I will see who the winners are, and that's who I will stitch on the 10th. So you'll always see my polls a day ahead. Um, but I'll also post who won. Like this morning, I got up, I posted who won games 9, East and West. That's who I'm working on today. And then I post polls for tomorrow. So... And then tonight, I will also post my progress pics. This is all in my stories. Um, I was was putting it in my um, main feed, but I realized how much it was going to clog up my feed and how fast it was going to get crazy. So, because as much as I'm doing, so I decided to move it over and I'm posting everything in my stories. I'm posting my um, polls, who won, and my progress pictures, everything is in my stories. So if you're into March Madness and you're following <laughs> me on this craziness, go check out my stories. Um, I have two huge stacks of whips to get through today. And this is almost going to be like a mini whip parade. You guys are going to get. Um, I did not bring the losers. So like... Whoever versus whoever, I didn't bring who lost. I only brought who I actually worked on and who won. So, um, whip go. I've only worked on one whip go whip. I have two. She calls two every month. Um, and I have not worked on Slytherin Crest yet. I'm thinking I'm going to wait for that until later on in the month. I know I have very little to actually do to get a page finish. So I'm kind of putting it off. Um, later on in the month, I'll only be working on one whip a day for March Madness rather than two. So that'll give me some extra time with um, the Slytherin Crest. And Slytherin Crest is a little bit more labor intensive because you've got a lot of color changing, a lot of blends. Um, it's just like you make like seven or eight stitches and you got to take your take it out switch it get to a new color so it's just a lot more slow going um so I'll wait until I have fewer March Madness whips to work on before I open up that can of worms but for in this amazing look at how that shines so shiny I love it um Oh, I'm going to have to pause the video later on because I forgot something. Okay, so for now, let's keep going. Um, for my other whip go goal is to get a thousand stitches on Something Wicked by Lottie Dom. And you guys, I am... Oh, let me take the chart off. I've got the chart stuck here. Um, I'm so close to a finish that... I think that I'm just going to push for a finish on this. Um, I think I'm about eight or 900 stitches into my goal. Um, there we go. So I've done all of the words. Obviously, I've done all of the words. I've got to stitch in some spiders. And then I've got to finish out the rest of this border. 
and it's done. So I think I'm going to push for a finish. Um, stitching out this border is going to be super easy. Uh, it's just, you know, one row. So stitching that out is going to be easy. I think I can do that during our, um, during my Friday night chat. I can get that done. So that'll be nice. Um, and I might just get a finish on this this weekend. I was trying so hard to push for a finish on it to have a finish today to show you guys, but I just, I did not get there. I can never get these things off. I wanted to show you guys the whole thing. If I can get this off, oh my gosh. Okay, look at that, there we go. So I did change the sock to purple since it matches my fabric more. Um, I am going to stitch the companion piece to this. It's um, the nose. It's the big long nose and it says uh, double 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 doil, boil, boil and oh my gosh you guys. <laughs> Words. <laughs> Trouble, toil and bubble. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And I know it too. That's what's bugging me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, double, double, toil and trouble, something. Yeah, okay. There we go. We got it. <laughs> I'm turning so red right now because I forgot the words. <laughs> you guys are probably all cracking up laughing at me. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, silly. Okay. Anyways, these, if you don't know, are actually, I mean, you know, they're from a poem, but they're also in Harry Potter. When the frog choir sings, they sing this song. So I think it's really cool. Um, they're going to go up in my Harry Potter room and they will be, they will be up year round. This isn't going to be like a Halloween piece. They'll be up in my Harry Potter room. So... Um, oh, but that's what I was saying, is the other one, I'm going to be stitching the companion piece, and I have enough fabric to stitch it on this same fabric. My question is, do I change her to a purplish color? Instead of, because her, her whole nose, it's, it's a big long nose, and it's green. So, tell me what you guys think, because here's the rest of the fabric. Um... This, oh, this fabric is 18 count Ada, um, picture this plus Heather. But see, this one, the green might not look terrible on this, on this. Because this one is more yellow than it is purple. So, you know, depending on how I place it, her green nose might not look terrible. So, I don't know. You guys tell me, what do you think? Should I switch her over to a purple toned? which or should I stick with the green I've never like tried to I don't know how many greens it calls for I don't know if it's just one green and I could just switch it over to a purple I don't know I haven't looked at it that closely yet so okay that's my whip go that's the only thing the, the other one like I said is the Slytherin crest that I haven't touched 25-7 WIPGO is W-I-P-G-O. W-I-P stands for work in progress. Um, and WIPGO is a version of Bingo um, that Stitchers have been playing. And it's Jessie Does Stuff um, is her floss tube. Go check her out. She's the one that hosts that. 25-7 is hosted by Julie McConnell, the owner of Reflections Stitching and Framing. Um, is to stitch 25 minutes or 25 stitches a day on one project every day until that project is done. So it's really good for a struggle piece because you can just put in your 25 stitches or your 25 minutes and put it away. Move on to something that you actually want to be working on. So I, don't, I wouldn't call this a struggle piece, but this has definitely been languishing. I don't want to take it out of the, because it's all wrapped up in there. but. This has definitely been languishing. Um, this is my oldest whip, I think, right now. So I wanna get it done. And it's a big one. Um, 
I have I have this top row done and then you can see I have many and the beginning of books there oh my gosh my fan so you can see how much I have done and I still have like all of this left to go um, these letters are ginormous it's a lot of solid color stitching which I get bored with really easily so this is a good project for me to be working on only a little bit at a time a little bit every day but there's my progress that's what I've got done so far let me block the light reflecting there um, I got a lot of this bead done I think since I've seen you guys last so um, I did miss a couple of days where I didn't stitch on it because I was focusing more on my March Madness than I was anything else so that's okay though and then I was also putting a lot of extra time into that something wicked one you know what's stuck in my head now double double toil and troubles okay um I was gonna say this was in this is in my um a Winnie the Pooh bag how cute how cute is it I love it this is from the 805 stitcher and Winnie the Pooh was my obsession before Harry Potter so I still have a fond love for Winnie the Pooh okay that's whip go that's 25 7 March madness holy cow okay I can't figure out how I want to do this if I want to do this day by day or if I want to do this east and west um here's my east bracket we've been filling in over here the winners and here's my west bracket and I've been filling in over here the winners so I know a couple of matchups that's going to be coming I think I know three matchups that'll be coming up um last I filmed I had already told you game one so let's just do this by game. We'll just do game two. Um, East bracket, Spooky Hollow versus All Hollows Eve um, sampler, the All Hollows Eve sampler. All Hollows Eve sampler one. Let's see. The hardest part of this is gonna be finding all the whips to show them to you in the order that they came in. Oh my goodness. Sorry, everything's on the floor. Okay. Is this it? Not it. That's not it. You guys struggle. There it is. Okay, so the All Hallows Eve sampler one. That's this one. We all know it. We all love it. Joan Elliott. Amazing. And I'm actually, I think that I have finally decided that I will be stitching that alphabet. But the alphabet is so unique to the piece. It's not just a font, it's it's amazing. So I will be stitching it. And here is the progress that I've gotten done. Um, I've been, <laughs> this thing that, I mean, this does not coordinate with my piece at all, but that's okay. Um, I have done, I've been trying to do at least 100 stitches, the very least 100 stitches. If not, I push for more. Monday through Fridays is harder because I get off of work and then I kind of sit and stare into space for a little bit and blindly scroll and then um, we'll finally pick up some stitching but by then I'm like super tired and I don't want to do very much so it's a push but I got some of this border in and I got a G and a beginning of an H and then I had to frog some of this up here and then I re-put it in there the right way so that's what I got done on Hall, All Hollows Eve sampler. Um, let's see if I can get it back in this bag. This is in a Judy bag. This is an 11 by 11 Q snap. And boom, it fits. Perfect. So, Judy's bags, Judy's project bags, and more on Facebook. Look her up. She's amazing. Amazing. Love this. Love this one. Okay, that one's done. I'll put it away. That was the East Bracket Game 2. Uh, West Bracket Game 2. We've got the Truckin' Along December. 
one or the uh, Frosty Friends ornament number six. Uh, Frosty Friends ornament number six one. So this is another Judy bag. This is a different style that she does not make anymore. But oh, this print, you guys. This print is amazing. Love it. And the inside is this top. So, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is the number six, I believe. Yeah, I wrote a number six right there. See? That's the number six ornament. I count each one of these as a different whip because they're full coverage babies and whew, they should all be their own little whips anyways. So let me find number six. And I can show you while I'm here. Is that number six? Yep, that's number six. But I actually have one done. Um, I do actually have number four. Who's that? Look at that. They are freaking adorable. They're adorable. Completely done. They're a pain in the butt to stitch. They, it's a one, it's full coverage. Completely full. There's back stitch. There's blends. There's half stitches. It's just. It's a lot. So this is what I got done on number six. Boom. Exciting. <laughs> Border stitching is just the most exciting thing ever. And if you can see, it's four rows of border all the way around this thing so super exciting and it's going to be just as exciting when you guys see my other one that one as well spoiler alert okay and this is all this is all a dimensions kit so and it's all um stitched for geez louise <laughs> it's all dimensions kit all it's called frosty friends where does it say it? It says it somewhere. Frosty Friends Ornaments. Okay. I'm stitching this with the um, flosses and the fabric and everything that came. Okay. That was game two, West Bracket. Game three, East, was Something Wicked huh? versus Amortentia. Which I was really hoping on Hortensia would work or would win so that I can get that out again. And it was close. It was 92 to 112. It was close. It was only off by a couple of votes. So 20 votes. Um, something Wicked won. So obviously that came out. I showed you Something Wicked already. That came out and I stitched on that. Um, and that was for the East. So then game three for the West was the um, Stiachalong. Stiachalone, however you want to say it. Um, they did a chart for House, like Dr. House, his face, last year. It was that one versus Frosty Friends number five and Frosty Friends number five one. So, let's not show you the chart. There's my exciting, excitingness. I got that done. And I already had like a line, one line done. So I got two more lines done. That's it. So I got that. Exciting. I will be excited to have those done someday though. All six of those done and on a tree together. Beautiful. Okay. Number four. I need to go faster. <laughs> number four. Where's number four? Three. Four. Halloween calendar versus Vlad's Vosh Day. Um, Halloween calendar one. Vlad's Vosh Day is a uh, raise the roof one. This is Halloween Calendar by Tiny Modernist. This one. Absolutely love this one. All the freaking colors. Woo! I love this one. But 15 is going to kill me. Do you guys see 15? It's a... It's a it, it's full coverage and it's teeny tiny but good lord good lord um so I put a couple more rows in for 15 I think I was over here when I started so I put some more in there 
I've only got a little bit left. I just need to get it out and get past this 15, but that's my progress so far. I need to get past that 15 and onto some more fun stuff instead. Because that 15 is... I'm not, I'm not good with solid color stitching. I'm just not. I know that about myself. I know it. And if I know that that's what I got to work on when I pick this up, I'm not going to pick it up. That's the problem. So I'm glad that one's moving on. It might move on again. And if it does, then I get to work on it again. Okay. Number four for the West bracket was, um, happy Christmas, you filthy muggle against coffee break and coffee break is actually going to be turned into cocoa break and that's the one that won it won I haven't been saying the scores this whole time but this one won 112 to 99 so this is what I've gotten done and I filled in a lot of the purple and then did a lot of the whipped cream on top and that sparkle is showing up perfect so it's a lot. I mean, there's my hand. There's my needle minder. You see how tiny it is. Um, it's a lot tinier than I thought it was going to be. This fabric is um, 18 count um, by Fabrics by Stephanie Breyer Rose. That's the fabric. Let me show you the pattern. The pattern is Shannon Christine. Coffee warms the soul. So that's how big that cup is. That's how big the cup is. So it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So it might stitch up fast. If I actually get it out and work on it. This is one of my Christmas starts though. So. Okay, game five. East. It's snow fun. Versus um, Welcome to My Haunted Home. Welcome to My Haunted Home, I have to frog that whole thing. And I have to start over with a better um, um, glow in the dark because the glow in the dark that I'm using is awful. So it's no fun one, thankfully. And if I can find it. Nope, nope, nope. Do I not have it? Oh, am I missing one? Oh wait, it might be in here. Oh, goodness. Throwing things all over the fun. All over the floor, I mean. Okay. And I keep calling it It's Snow Fun, but that's not actually what it's called. It's called It's Snow Cold. Not It's Snow Fun. It's Snow Cold by Country Cottage Needleworkers. Needlework? Needleworks. And this one is stitched on a 28 count. Even weave. What? Oh my gosh. And I got that tree. So I already had the white for the snow people in there and then I put the tree in. That's all I got done that day. Some progress is better than no progress. That's what I keep telling myself. Um, did I put everything back in there? Yeah, I did. Okay. Ooh, I gotta hurry. Okay. Um, that was number five. The next one was Frosty Friends ornament number three, which did not win, against the Halloween sampler, which did win. The Halloween sampler is hopefully in here. Yes. This one by Cottage Garden Samplings. Um, I'm not really using any of the called for colors because the called for colors didn't match that picture, and I liked that picture. So that's what I went with. That's what I've gotten done. This is 18 count Ada dyed by me. Um what I did during this round was all of this plus the bone plus the letter N. 
imitate plus the bone plus the letter N. That's what I got done. And all of these winners are moving on to the next round and they'll either get put away or be stitched on again depending on who wins the matchup. Do I know who this one is going up against? I do know who this one is going up against. I can tell you guys later. Okay, that's it in there. Now, number six. We're almost done. Six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> we got four more days to get through. Scary Apothecary versus 100 Owls and 100 Owls won by a landslide, 134 to 69. So 100 Owls, I would think that everybody knew about 100 Owls because it's been all over, all over my Instagram feed for a long time now. And I don't have a full picture of it. It's a free pattern by Owl Forest Embroider Embroideries. Owl Forest Embroidery. And it will have 100 Owls on the piece. Focus. There we go. It'll have 100 owls on that piece when it's done. So, and they like told you about the owls as they were released and stuff like that. So, I got part of the face done and part of um, that done. And I'm using their, their floss that they have for this. I sent for them from Russia. Beth graciously sent for them and I tagged along. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. Busy bee stitches, go watch her. Um, yes. But Erin and um, Kristen from Steel City Stitchers are like, oh my God, those owls. And I'm like, have you guys not seen this? How have you not seen this? And Kristen was like, I have not seen this, but I need this. So I think I enabled her right there with that one. But that one was, that one is going to be a focus project very soon because I absolutely love that one. Love it, love it. Okay, so number six was Frosty Friends Ornament number two on the west side versus, on the west, side, on the west bracket. West side? <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> on a tangent you guys frosty friends number two versus christmas sampler and christmas sampler one which is funny because halloween sampler one and they're on the same bracket they could end up facing each other later on down the road i think that'll be funny halloween versus christmas but let me not show you the pattern do, 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 do. Let me hold this up. there we go Christmas Sampler 2 by the Cottage Garden Samplings. I liked the two better than I liked, um, because there are, obviously, there's two of them. So, but I like this one better. I like the colors on it. And I did, I do think that I used the call for colors on this one. But here's what I've gotten done. This is 18 count dyed by me. I finished off the M, and then I did, this is part of a Q, and part of what is that word poinsettia the begin or the end of poinsettia and when it's in your q snap it's just it makes sense but then you pull it out and you're like why are you where is the randomness happening why it's because that's what was inside my q snap and that's what i could reach that's why that happens okay number seven number seven is which better versus Mr. Jingles and which better won? Um, yep, this one's it. Which better is from the Frosted Pumpkin? Which better have my candy? <laughs> I bought this pattern because I liked the blue and I thought the blue was really cool in a Halloween piece because I had not seen blue before um, in Halloween. Sorry for the crinkles. But it's not blue. That was just my printer. That was just how it was showing up. It's purple. 
but I was good because I love purple too so I just got more of this black border put in I think it was like right here and I put all of this in so super exciting border stitching once again but needs to be done to finish the piece that's in a smaller Judy bag my owl, um, my owl's one. I don't know if, I sh if you guys saw a peek of that, but you guys look at this sleeve. That's a love you more sleeve. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. That was number seven. So that means that Witch Better Have My Candy is going to verse all the All Hallows Eve sampler. The All Hallows Eve sampler is the Joan Elliott one. And then Witch Better Have My Candy. Those two in round two will be facing each other. We're still on round one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I showed you guys this, but we're, yeah, we're still on round one. We've got a lot to get through. On the 12th will be the last day of round one. So that was number seven on the east bracket. Number seven on the west bracket was plaid tidings versus frosty friends number one. And plaid tidings won. Where is plaid tidings? Oh, it's on the floor. That's the one that fell on the floor. I've been putting these all in a bag. I, I pull them out, I stitch on them, I put them in a bag so that I can have them to show you guys. Oh, little Stitch Girl, plaid tidings, and I'm working on this green one. And you know what? I pulled it out and I knew I had to frog. Before I even pulled it out, I knew I had to frog. I knew I had to frog before I put it away last time. But I said, I'm just going to make progress on this. I'm not gonna do the frogging, I'm gonna make the progress, I'm gonna use my time to make some progress, I'm gonna stitch somewhere else. And I'm stitching along and I'm like, I just can't, I, I can't, I have to pull it out. So, I got this giant piece of um, fabric. It's like polka dot fabric and it's 18 count, but I don't know from who. So I did, I pulled out a whole bunch in here, but I also did put in some of this white on the roof. And I finished off this window. So I did get some stitching put in, but a lot of my time was spent ripping out. Because I used, I was supposed to put black in there, black coffee. And I had just used um, a darker green, a mistletoe green. And the mistletoe green and the steamed broccoli green looked almost identical. So you weren't getting that plaid look to it. Um... So that's why I had to pull it out. Because if you look in here, it's got black. So you need that black in there to make that work. Ooh, my nails. Ooh, they're so ugly. It's okay. They're all chipped. Oops. They've been on for a while, though. I think I had them on last week. Look, I'm missing two. <laughs> Don't look at those two. So fluffy, guys. Okay. So plaid tidings is gonna go against that frosty friends number six ornament. So we'll see which one gets which one wins later on in round two. That was number seven. Number eight. We're almost there. Okay, we're doing good on time. We're good. Um, it was Grimm's Fairy Tales from the Clouds Factory versus um the Snow Friends banner. And luckily, Grimm's Fairy Tales won. I get to show you guys this amazing, this amazing folder pocket bag thing that's quilted and just, oh, look at the sparkle in it. It opens up into a, oh, 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 oh. look, I've got all my floss here, got some more floss over here. It comes with this little needle book thingy. It comes with a needle minder. It comes with the, it came with these thread drop thingies. I've got, you know, um, the actual whip and some pattern. And then I've got more pattern back here because this is, this was a sow and there's a lot of paperwork involved with this one. A lot. Okay. So I put in B, C, D and these, and this was last night that I stitched on this so yep this is berry splash by weeks 
And if I have a favorite Weeks, it's probably that one. I freaking love Berry Splash. It stitches up so pretty. Pinks and purples. But it's like got those dark purple splashes in it. Ooh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. This bag is by Debbie's underscore stitching on Instagram. She will just randomly make a bag and put them up for sale on her Instagram. It's like you got to turn on notifications because they go instantly. Um, toying with the idea of sending her some fabric so that she can make me another one because all I have is this Christmas one and I really want, really, really want a Halloween one. Really bad. Okay. So I worked on that last night and then I worked on, we had All Hallows Eve Haunting versus Come In For A Spell and All Hallows Eve Haunting one and it's in this amazing sleeve. Look at this sleeve. Oh, look at her. She's just, oh yeah. All Hallows Eve Haunting is from Autumn Lane Stitchery and it's this one. And this is stitched on 18 count Ada, hand dyed by me. I was going for that look. And I think I did it. I think I pretty much did it. Okay, it goes this way. So this is the bottom of her skirt. Can you see it down there? It's this part down here. And what I put in yesterday was all this over here. I was going to work my, I was working my way back to closing up that. So it's just a lot of solid black stitching. Solid stitching, so much fun. It is good when you're on like a chat or you, ha or you have like TV or something you can just mindlessly just do, 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 do same color over and over and over but if you're tired and you're having a hard time staying awake it's like the kind of stitching that puts me to sleep so there's that one I worked on that one last night and I have one more whip I want to show you and I totally forgot but on the seventh which is Harry Potter seven Seven Potters Stitch Sal. So on the seventh of every month, I stitch on a Harry Potter piece and I've picked one piece and I will work on this the seventh of every month until it is done or if it is, is if it's called for in other places or whatever. But I will stitch on it the seventh of every month at the bare minimum. Um, it's I Solemnly Swear. And this is by Fiddlesticks AU, but she doesn't have it for sale anymore, I do not believe. I believe that you need to message her to try to get this because copyrights. My magnets were stuck together and I've got floss everywhere and this is just a hot mess. Pardon. There we go. Let me block the reflection. So I put in this whole W and part of the S for seven potters stitch sal. Seven potters. Um, so seven is a very prevalent number in the Harry Potter universe. There's, I mean, obviously, look at that. This is the perfect sleeve for it. Um, seven is the number of the um, seeker. The seekers all always wear number seven. Um, but there's just, there's seven players on the Quidditch team. That's one. There's, you know, there's seven just keeps popping up and popping up and popping up. Um, Harry Potter is born in the seventh month, um, but Seven Potters is a reference to um, when they're leaving, when he's leaving the borough, they have all of these people volunteer to drink Polyjuice Potion and they all look like Harry Potter. So that chapter is called Seven Potters um, or Seven Harrys, either way, um, there's seven of them that take the polyjuice, there's six of them that take the polyjuice potion plus Harry. That makes seven Harrys. So seven Potters stitch out. Stitch on the seventh Harry Potter pieces. That's all my whips. Oh. 
you guys. And I'm not even showing you the model that I'm stitching on. So every day I am committed to 25 minutes on my 25 seven piece. And I usually get that out and I get that done first. 30 minutes on my model because the 25 minutes is because the 25 seven, but 30 minutes is a nice, more even number for me to work on something. It helps my brain more. Um, but I know that in 30 minutes I can do 100 stitches, give or take, depending on what I'm stitching, how many times I got to change out floss, how many distractions I get, but yeah, ish, 100 in 30 minutes. So that means that if I commit to 30 minutes on something, I'm getting at least 100 stitches. Um, last night I committed an hour to each one of my whips, so I got around 200 stitches in. I didn't count. But I know that I stitched for an hour, and that probably that means that I probably put in around 200 stitches. Um, so today is the ninth, and I will be working on. So for the west, I'll be working on Frank and Boo, because it was up against the Moon Laughs, and Frank and Boo won. And then the other one, someone messaged me and was like, "What kind of Sophie's choice is this?" Because it was my Slytherin crest, um, which is what I'm working on. I don't have it with me, which is in my whip go pile versus I solemnly swear, which I just showed you guys. Um, both of them Slytherin, amazing Slytherin pieces. Um, I solemnly swear one. So I'll be getting that back out again tonight and getting some more progress on that. I don't know that I can commit an hour to each one tonight because I've got um, physical therapy this afternoon that I gotta hurry up and get to. Um, I've got physical therapy and then I've got um, to edit and upload and all this stuff for that. So they might only get 30 minutes each tonight. Um, yeah, that's on my lips. So, and that's my March Madness. So, Today's the 9th, then the 10th, 11th, 12th. So, what is that? Then that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Friday is the last day of these rounds. And then round two will begin. I'll post the round two polls on Friday. And I'll begin stitching on them on um, Saturday. Next week is spring break. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday... I'm going to be home, I'm going to be chilling, I'm going to be stitching, um, packing, because then on Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll be in Florida, and then on Thursday, Friday, and Thursday, Friday, I'll be in Denver, but then, and we're coming home Saturday morning at like 6 a.m., so we'll be here at like 8, 9, so then I'll have all day Saturday, all day Sunday to chill again. And um, Sunday, I'm getting my, that Sunday, I'm getting my second dose. And that Saturday is my anniversary, my 19 years anniversary. Um, which means my son is going to be 19 a month later. Yeah, I got married when I was eight months pregnant. <laughs> I'm sure that judge was like looking around like, oh. Where is the shotgun? This is totally a shotgun wedding. <laughs> Anyways, um, total tangent. Um, so next week is just going to be crazy. I am not going to be filming in Florida again. My husband is going with me, so there's no way he's going to allow me to bring all this stuff and do all that stuff. No. Uh, I'll be filming here on Monday next week for sure. And then it'll go up. It'll still go up Wednesday morning at 8 o'clock. So, um, I will have to take multiple whips with me, though, to all of these places. Because I don't know which one's going to win. So, I'm going to have to take the both of them and then see which one to actually stitch on. Um, this is where I'm going to pause the video real quick. And then I will be back um, because I need to go get uh, 
bag and a shirt to show you guys. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. Hi. Okay. Bags. I have this bag for sale. In my, if you join my Facebook group, Athena, no, <laughs> Athena X Stitches my Instagram. My Facebook group is Stitching Goddess Designs. So, you guys, the sparkle just does not, it does not do justice. It looks so good in person. Oh, this is all glitter. And it doesn't really, it doesn't really come off. So, yeah. Um, but it is so sparkly and so shiny. I love it. I'm a craftaholic on the road to recovery. Just kidding. I'm on the road to the craft store. And I love it. These are available. Join my Facebook group. Message me if you want one. Message me on Facebook, Instagram. Um, they're $10. $4 for shipping, so $14 total. If you want one, and then I just came up with this new shirt design from last week's floss tube. If you didn't watch last week's floss tube, go watch it. I was going to do I like big whips and I cannot lie. I had it all typed out and everything and I stopped myself. I'm like, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it because, um, yeah. Yeah walking around with a shirt that says like thick whips mm. uh, I couldn't do it but stitches I can do that it sounds like another word and I think it's kind of funny play so I like big stitches and I cannot lie and I love this again message me or this is my own personal design um, message me or on Facebook or Instagram these are um, $12 for a small through extra large, $15 for plus sizes, and $6 for shipping. So, love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. That's shop news. Shop news. Haul. I do have some haul. I downloaded some Etsy charts, and I'm going to show them now. So, uh, Three Trails Stitchers. If you um, watch them, they're doing a monthly thing where they are shouting out like a one a month, a Etsy designer that they um, like and they want to promote more. And because Etsy designers, there's tons and tons and tons of them, but you don't know the best ones out there. So um, anyways, they're just shouting them out. So. This is MI Studio Create is their um, um, Etsy shop of the month. And I'm probably not going to stitch this this month. Um, this might end up sitting around until next January, February. Um, but I went ahead and went and bought from their, from their um, Etsy shop of the month so that I'm contributing. And this is what I bought. And it's just so cute. He's so cute. I'm seeing this on a really fun pink fabric. Um, something that's not going to clash too much with the hearts. But you can still see his white beard. That's so cute. I love it. Okay, and then this one. These are from Cross Stitching for Fun. And, I mean, I just, I think I just Googled it. Uh, Halloween, uh, Halloween on the brain Valentine's Day charts because I don't have very many Valentine's Day charts and these were really cute so I'm gonna just from way back here show it to you because this is just the pattern so it's a solid color so this is gonna be perfect for a um, it says happy Valentine's Day and it's got some butterflies it's gonna be perfect for a variegated floss and then here's another one it says happy Valentine's Day and it's just some hearts so cute. Okay, then, and I think this was a while ago, but I just now printed these out. Doreen Jones. I went Doreen Jones crazy. 
And I feel like I'm going to maybe suggest Doreen Jones to be an Etsy designer of the month for them. Um, cause yes, that's amazing. Look at these owls. I feel like this is kind of asking for it because these are like full coverage little ornaments that I'm struggling getting through already. But oh, look at them. That's so cute. And they could go next to my gingerbread houses. Oh, speaking of gingerbread houses, oh, because I didn't get enough of the other gingerbread houses. These ones are a little bit different though. They're solid, just um, gingerbread and peppermints. That's it. No gumdrops, no um, crazy colors. So these are a little bit different. I don't know when or if those will get stitched, but they're in my stash now. And will you guys just stop it? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, you guys. I die. I die. I love it so much. Okay. So those are the charts that I downloaded this week or printed out finally so you guys can see them. One more bit of haul and I kept this. I've opened it already because I tore into it as soon as it arrived. But I wanted to show you guys how this came. This is from Lynn X Stitches Creates. She, I didn't even, I don't think that I had heard about her before. Um, but she bought some shirts from me. And so then I found out that she ha makes project bags. And then I found out she does like a mystery bag of the month kind of a thing. And she had some extras left over. And so I me pleased. And I got one. And this is how it comes in this box. I'm like, oh my gosh. Is it this? It can't be this big. This bag cannot be this big. Look how, look how big it is. Like, this is, this is a regular chart compared to this box. So, you open it up. Let's see if I can show you guys. You open it up, and inside, sure enough, the bag is this big. Holy cow, you guys. Holy cow. That's how big it is. These bags are ginormous. And I'm here for it. This is the 2021 March Mystery Bag Set. Oh my gosh, this is fabric. Sorry, get the crinkles over with. There we go. What? I gather fabric. Fabric goddess. Oh, all, what? What does that say? All this and I sew too? So many projects, so much fabric, so little time, so awesome. Measure twice, count. Oh, you guys. I die. This fabric is amazing. And then, and then, oh, I can't show that. The, the, um, pattern of the month, or the, uh, what do you call it, the month? Look at MI Studio Creates. <laughs> like yes oh my gosh this is my time I to go to therapy um need a little love oh that's so cute I'm totally gonna be stitching this because I have a whole collection of patterns that are gonna be like for my cross stitch room and that is gonna be perfect for that and then it also comes with this whole baggie full of goodies let's open this up tear into it so we've got some Tropical Sunset Herbal Tea, love it, and we've got a Fruit Leather Snack, and we've got some Mini Starburst Snacks, and then we've got a Needle Minder from Rebel Stitcher. Let's see if I can pull this down so that... Here's the Needle Minder. How cute is that? It's a tape measure. And then there's Rebel Stitcher's information. If you want to screenshot that and go check her out. And I love it because, um, and then we've got an, uh, one of those um, little needle threaders. Love this. This is not just a bag. It's like, and then here, she t gives you all the information for the project bag, the needle minder, and the pattern. Where to get all of it. And this is amazing. I am like, 
I was blown away. I thought I was just getting a bag. I didn't know I was getting all the extras. That is so cool. I mean, so cool. And I think that this is like an exclusive pattern. March mystery bag, needle little love. Like I'm thinking that she maybe, I don't know if she only partners with MI Studio Creates or if she partners with other people, but that's so cool. So cool. Thank you so much, Lynn. Um, love it. I love, love, love it. I'm blown away. And this um, zipper pull. I didn't even show you guys the zipper pull. Look at this. It's a little button with the fabric and then tied onto the um, ribbon. Oh, that's a nice zipper. You gotta love nice zippers. That's so awesome. I love it. Okay, that's it for haul. We're at over an hour and I gotta go. So, um, um, shout outs. I've already, I mean, I shouted out three trial stitchers, Busy Bee Stitches, and um, Lynn X Stitches. I also wanted to let you guys know, like, I talk about Black Needle Society and Love You More Studio all the time. Love You More Studios and Black Needle Society are both Katie and Laura Landis. And Laura Landis has a floss tube of her own called the Pattern Queens that she does with her friend Keisha. Our friend Keisha. Keisha's for everybody. And <laughs> um, they so go check out the Pattern Queens. That's their floss tube. And then Black Needle Society is a floss tube that I am on as well. So check that one out. That is all about the Black Needle Society boxes. It's me, Lara, and Katie. And we talk all about that there. Okay, Magical Hall. So Harry Potter Hall um, is up next. If nobody's interested, bye. See you next week. If you're interested and you're still here, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Fast. Okay, um, I would rather be at Hogwarts because for real. And this is like movable glitter. I'm moving the table now. Um, love it. This was from um, Hot Topic where I get all my Harry Potter stuff lately. And then this is old news kind of, but I wanted to show you guys because if you're not a super fan, you maybe not know about this. Um, Mina Lima, who is Mina Lima, who is the duo of um, artists that have worked on the Harry Potter films, made a fully illustrated copy of the Sorcerer's Stone. It's designed and illustrated by Mina Lima. This is year one. They're going to be doing all the years. Um, this bookmark is from Frogworth's year one. And yeah, that's Katie's artwork. So that's different. But um, I wanted to show you guys, like it's got fully interactive pages. Like this is supposed to be like a star chart thingy. Like when they do astronomy and stuff. So this page, this one will turn to the different planets and stuff like that. And Diagon Alley. <clears throat> I don't want to rip it. But when he goes into Diagon Alley and you can see all the artwork and the amazingness that goes into this but and I'm just giving you a, like a sneak peek of a couple of things here here's the um, portrait of the fat lady you open her up and there's the room there so and I think that her eyes maybe move something's going on there oh yeah she's watching you <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to show off that book. Go, that's on sale now. Um, Pre-orders for year two is already happening. And then, 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 then. I don't know where I got this, but this is a screen print transfer. I bought the transfer, and it's a printed screen print transfer. I bought this transfer. I did not make this transfer. Don't ask me to make this transfer because I don't have the capabilities to make this. This is a printed. And then I put it on a shirt myself. Will oh, you guys mom life Slytherin pride yes please yes please yes all the yeses I cannot even 
Um, not school appropriate, so I can't wear to work, but love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And if you're super, if you like, if you're dying and you have to have this, message me. Um, leave a comment below and I will find out where I got that from and I will send you a link. Um, other than that, I am done for the week. That was a lot of whips. That was a lot of stitchy progress without actually having like, I mean, there's a lot of project progress spread out over a lot of pieces. And sometimes it makes me think like if I had just harnessed all of those stitches into one piece, I might have a hay done by now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Uh, twenty. Uh, Coke, Pepsi, whatever. Okay, I'm done. I will see you guys next week, right before I'm on all my vacations. And have a great week, everybody. Bye.